every Spider-Man ever presents the Fantastic Four Annual Issue 3. It's Reed Richards and Sue Storm's wedding day, and Doctor Doom is mad about it, so he creates a device that's going to make every evil person ever want to attack the Fantastic Four. Everybody. So we have the Puppet Master controlling a guest to lethally poison Ben Grimm with a handshake, thankfully stopped by Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Then the Mole Man drills out of the ground to attack with his army, but he's held off by the X-Men, with Iceman plugging the hole with ice. Then the Red Ghost and his super apes attack Sue and Alicia, and almost defeat the entire Fantastic Four, before Doctor Strange Strange sends them all into another dimension. Then Thor stops the Super Scroll before he can arrive at the wedding, and Daredevil intercepts a massive bomb sent by Hydra, and Captain America fights the Cobra, and Hawkeye protects Cap against Mr. Hyde's surprise attack, and then Spider-Man, the man of the hour, gets one panel to save Hawkeye from Enchantress's falling safe spell? And then the Black Knight is attacking Daredevil who's still driving the bomb away, and so Angel flies up to save Daredevil, and then the Mandarin uses a magic ring to paralyze Angel, who is saved from falling by Ice. Iceman, but then Electro and the Mandarin and Unicorn and Melter and the Beetle all fire blasts at Iceman, but Cyclops comes to the rescue with a blast of his own, hitting the villain blast creating a shattering concussion. Elsewhere, Iron Man is fighting off the Mad Thinker and his android, and Quicksilver proves that he's faster than the human top and defeats him, just as Atuma rises out of the ocean with a massive army by his side, ready to finally destroy all who walk on land, ready to conquer the earth, just as the daredevil driven truck drives off the pier and the bomb that was attacked wipes out Atuma's entire army, sending them sinking back into the depths. Back with the Fantastic Four, the Watcher appears and takes Reed Richards through the fourth dimension, presenting him with a range of weapons that will help him. This apparently doesn't count as interfering. Reed goes back to the fight and activates the weapon he got, which sends every villain back in time and makes them forget everything that happened, including Doom, who Reed suspects is behind the attack. Reed and Sue can finally get married, and they do, finally sealing their wedding with a kiss in front of their friends and the world's heroes. Two more people are trying to get into the wedding though, but Nick Fury and his team turn them away. No one's allowed in without an invite. So the two men, Stan and Jack, will get their revenge when they write the next issue of Fantastic Four. Thanks for watching and while you decide what to watch next, here's a fun fact about this issue. This wedding contains the first appearance of Patsy Walker within the main Marvel superhero world, connecting it to the world of Millie the Model.